So here we are. I'm walking a, uh, we're in Townsville, walking a bloody double black diamond mountain biking trail. Cause some idiot thought that he could ride it. And he has done just a little bit of damage, nothing. Just a bit of bark, nothing, nothing crazy. But I've lost my sunnies in the process. It all starts a great outback. <laughs> <laughs> After making our way northwest from Bowen, we arrive in Townsville, where we plan to spend the next week catching up with friends, exploring Magnetic Island, and dustproofing the caravan before hitting the red dust to Adele's Grove. One of the most striking features of Townsville is Castle Hill, smack bang in the center of town. This impressive large red rock provides a great vantage point to look out over the Great Barrier Reef and nearby Magnetic Island, and is a favorite for locals to walk, run, and cycle up. After missing the first ferry, we nipped across the harbour to the other tour company that runs alternating timetables to Magnetic Island. Before you know it, you're arriving in Nelly Bay. From there, you can grab a bus, car, bike or foot falcon to wherever your heart desires. We chose the bus straight up to Horseshoe Bay. We are kayak, well, I'm lady marking it. Relaxing. Just exploring Horseshoe Bay at Magnetic Island. Cool. We're about to launch ourselves to a beach. <gasps> There's a scorpion! Ah! Oh, it's a crab. A scorpion? <laughs> it's a crab. Oh, it's a scorpion. <laughs> Oh, it's a scorpion! <laughs> it had legs. You're gonna lose your paddle. Are oh, we beaching ourselves here? We're beaching ourselves here. Oh no, he's letting me go to sea! Quick, quick, quick! <laughs> We're gonna be stranded on an island. That would be funny. It would not be funny. <laughs> Float away. Oh no, it's going, it's floating away. Yeah, we might have to take ourselves to the other island. <laughs> he just fell over. Ooh. Film crew back there, we're just you know lending them out. Look at this sign, babe. That's me. Good. Don't let him Thank on. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, hey, what, is this a video? Mommy, this is like a YouTube channel. Like, <laughs> this, is, this is a shit. My oh, cheeks hurt. It all starts a great outback. <laughs> 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 
hands. You've actually got to leave ass. that little black stuff. <laughs> they call bitumen. <laughs> bitumen. It's on the road. It's hard. It's sticky. Oh my God. It's rocky. And dirt. dirt. Wow. This is good. Wow. This is, wow. This is, wow. This is great. You guys got a YouTube channel yet? We need some. Yeah, where's yours? Channel. Ours is called what? Rock Hard Adventures. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. What have we got to say tonight? Is it all? It's, it's only early. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's rabbit yeah. jerseys in there. Oh, we've got crossings to get here tonight. <laughs> 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 What are we doing today? Go for a ride. Where are we? Townsville, Cape Palaranda. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty nice so far, beautiful day, so we're going to go here for a bit of a spin. Got, yep. Get some training done. Mm -hmm. How long are we going for? Well, it depends. It depends. It's like a 12, what is it? 14k ride. Yeah. So, see how that goes. Probably a couple of hours, I'd say. Two, three hours. Here we are, Castle Hill. Castle Hill. Hill. We're going to ride over that uh, mountains up there, right there. Yep. But um, that's, see, there's some smoke on it. Yes. Mm. That's where the cars. That's where the car is. The beach corner. We got there and there was a few signs saying uh, burning off. Look on the website. They said it was prescribed burning from today for the next three days. So. Maybe a appropriate yeah. choice to not do it. We're going to go to Townsville to Castle Hill, and, um, which is a nice 286 metre climb. Climb? Nice little baby climb for the day. That's all downhill from here, so we're going to ride all the way to get our car. Uh, we'll show you the view because it's absolutely uh, lovely. So we'll come to Townsville, be sure to come out to the castle and look out. It's a nice little park so you can do as well. Right, catches. Look at that for a trail. It's not even a trail, it's just, you've got to have rocks in your head, I mean. So, mission success. I found me sunnies, which is a great thing. However, I have, this is no word of a lie, almost just stepped on a snake, it wasn't very big, but I am in my Chinese safety boots. So that's not a good idea. But I mean, what's the worst that could happen, really? I'm on just like a remote part of a Townsville mountain with nothing else other than a phone and Johnny safety boots. So there's no, there's no venomous snakes up this way. <laughs> At least that's what the tour guide said. But uh, yeah, anyway, we're just gonna negotiate down Snake City country and uh, should be good. See you later. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. We are just installing a bit of dust suppression today. We are uh, going to do some airbag roads soon, and this you're going to see how much dust is getting in there around here. It's shopping, so we're just putting a bit of a uh, filter mat in. There's a massive sign in that says it's got to remain open when they're in use, so you've got to have the door open, but we don't, we do anyway, so I'm going to fit that permanently um, to this door, and then I've also got another door cover on the outside. We've got a bit of surf melt from Park Rubber and got some good dual lock Velcro. It's not even Velcro, it's dual lock 3M Scotch and it's just plastic and it's going to go. Just... Ooh. It's going to go on cheap, there. Cheap, cheap. Cheap. It's not cheap, it's like $27 a metre, it's ridiculous. That's it's basically on there. So that's going to cover that vent off from the outside and hopefully mitigate a bit of the dust problems. We're going to do all the other vents as well, but it basically sits like that. How, how many vents do you have to cover up in total? Um, something like eight or nine. Mm. Fringe vents, this vent, gas vents, all these different types of things. But you've got to be aware that you've got to have them open again when you're using the gas. Um, I wasn't quite doing that. Yeah, we're trying to pull out the dust because we're the only to do the gear 
ride and pick your beliefs and stuff like that, so yeah. How many boxes of scotch tape are you going to uh, need? I'm going to go for 10 boxes of scotch tape, so it's about, that dual box shit's about 270 bucks. Just in Velcro, basically, so it's expensive. But How much a box? $27 for 1.2 meters. Cheap, cheap. Moving on. Here we are in, where are we? Charters Towers. I always forget where we are. This is our first experience of Outback. We're not even out Outback yet. Got some far away and up on the coast. That's Outback. Got my hat yep. on. Yow! I'm facing the sun. Look at you go. You're killing I'm me. learning, I'm learning. But yeah, it's our first kind of Outback. Eh? Dirt experience. Country, dirt. A little dry. Pretty, pretty get, green actually. Uh, it's pretty green actually. For country, yeah. Anyway, We're climbing um, Castle Hill. Tower Hill. Oh gosh. Castle Hill and Tower Hill. I'm, 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 right. I'm hopeless with remembering things. I always get the name, so don't don't look to me or talk to me for um, tour advice because I don't know where you end up. Naughty. So what are you um, preparing here, babe? We are putting some sticks on the cut. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. So just give me a quick wash and then stickers are on. Rocked up stickers. Rocked up stickers. Brum brum. Brum brum. Brum brum. This is just going to empty that out now. We're done with that. Yeah, I should throw that in something. Don't waste the water. Wash something. Look at this city twat, he's now washing his bull bar. What are you washing the bugs off, eh? Oh, yeah, who cares? Washing the number plates that the coppers can get me. So what's your plan? Well, the plan is, I've just got to rinse it now. There's no soap on it. Yeah. Is that very... That's not very water efficient. No, it's not, but... So we get the everything else out. Little Louie's freaking out under there. You alright buddy? He's got his leg stuck. Has he? Behind the cord. Oh, he's a bit worried. Oh, oh. the GoPro's got wet. Right on. Yeah, I reckon. Alright, so why don't you just have it in line with that at, at rock dump? So, we're just sticking these stickers on the side of the car. Lena and I have had a beer and we're having an argument about which way to do it. Lena's old school and just wants to go straight dry. And I had kind of the solution. It's not really, I just copied someone. It's the solution of uh, a bit of detergent in a spray bottle. Like this and a bit of water, and then you spray it on, and then you can peel a whole sticker off, sit it on, you can float it where you want it. He then, wasn't 100% confident. I wasn't 100% on it, he and then we tried it with this on the glass window, and I tell you what, mmm, damn son! <laughs> Good, so I'm pretty happy. We're gonna do it right now, we're gonna do the whole car, so. He wins. All right. <laughs> it's so. Too much of a perfectionist. <laughs> measure, measure, measure. Look at the concentration, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this face. That's perfect. Are you sure it's straight? Oh, don't say that. I'm sure. Yeah. A little. I don't know if I'd say it's straight. It's not. 
Good. Well, don't you show too much enthusiasm. Hey? Well, oh, I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. I'll just see if this draws. So. I tried the Ever Drive sticker and it worked really well and now I've done it with this and it actually doesn't seem to work real well, if at all. So, I'm not happy about it. Leader might have won this one, but I'm not sure. It seems to be, we coated it with detergent and water, which doesn't really make much sense, but it did work with the Ever Drive sticker, it worked really well. So, and this now, but it's now lifting up. So I don't know whether it's just lifting up and you've got a hot kind of hold it down and then kind of, I don't know. No, it's wet. I don't know if it's just wet and it needs to dry or... I don't know, me. I don't know, so... Not really happy. So, anyway, so he wanted moving to, on. He wanted to go do the other ones while we wait. <laughs> the yeah, same method. I did, actually. Or at least the other method. Maybe the other... I mean, I'll do the other method. I'll just do the other method for now, anyway. That's what I'm going to do, too. I'm going to do the other method right now, so... That's all I'm going to do. So that's one win for the female population, zero for the men. So we haven't killed each other. Just, at the end of the day, we haven't killed each other. We've had, oh, it's about a beer, this is not beer. Anyway, stickers are on. That one's a bit crooked, those are a bit crooked. These are pretty good, but this is it. This is the final sticker, so here we go. Knocked up. Yes! It's good. Oh, very nice. We're going to jugsy high five. High fives. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow. Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss, cause I'll go with you. Chronosaurus Corner is Australia's premier marine fossil museum. It showcases nearly 1,150 unique fossil specimens from Richmond in outback Queensland. Its most famous attraction is the Chronosaurus Queenslandicus, which is in the back room and it's pretty impressive. They also had a couple of docos on a few of the farmers that discovered the fossils and a look back in time at the Hewenden area when the dinosaurs were roaming wild. I know you're recording. What have we got here? What is it? Some cracker barrel. Cracker barrel. Infused cheddar with what is it? Cheese with smoked flavour for depth. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yum well. Cheers. Here we are, folks. Walking uh, downtown Julia Creek. We're taking the Terra Monster for a walk, and Lewis is coming with us as well. So he's down there. See what I did there? Uh, yeah, we're just checking it out. There's not a lot here, but still nice little that back town. So go for a bit of a cruise. That's us. Peace. Hey, good day. What's wrong with you? Oh, hey, we're using a lot of fuel at the minute. We're using a shitload of fuel. Don't know what's going on. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So what's 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 using another 10 liters per hundred k's. So normally you're using about what, 16? 16, now it's using about 26, so... I don't know, we've got a fair bit of... We, it's not really a headwind, I'd call it a fairly 
fairly strong side wind, but it's not a head wind, so. So what have you been outside doing? I don't fucking know, nothing, looking for shit. Nothing, I don't know. Looking for stuff in the engine bay that's broken, but. You had the bonnet up. Had the bonnet up, yeah, so I was in the engine How's bay. the bearings? I don't know. I can't tell without jacking the car up and then rip, ripping the rules around. So we'll keep going to Con Curry. So maybe we can ask people if they've had any experience or. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Anyway. He's got his shits on, people. He's not happy about it. And he's sooking. He's grumpy. He's Lewis. Lewis is happy. Hi, Louis. How are you? What do you know? Oh, he's such a cool. How cool is Lewis? Let's give Lewis a thumbs up. Louis is a little legend. Louis. Yeah, legend. There's another legend over here.